When you have a small baby at home, I recommend you to always keep it with you. Do you know what is it? Now it's a baby diaper. Have you heard that in Japan they sold more adult diapers than baby diapers? According to the World Bank, more than a quarter of Japan's population is over 65 years old. This phenomenon is called as a silver tsunami. In the next 25 years, the population of people over 65 is set to double. The seniors will soon outnumber their children under the age of five. It looks that we are more interested in, in living longer than healthier life. But for me, the husband is the real value. It represents how well we live, not necessarily how long we live. Currently, statistics show that we are spending up to 20% of our life unhealthy. Have you heard about Dmitry Kaminsky? He strongly believes that humans should live longer and healthier life. Dmitry made headlines around the world when he promised a $1 million reward to the next person to break the world record for the long life. By the way, do you know what is the record? 122. It belongs to Jean de Calmont. But how can we keep the balance between long and healthy life? Do any of you like to be sick? Of course not. Usually we go to doctors when we already have some health issues. And in the ancient China, they also had doctors, but they were paid only if they were able to keep their patient healthy, irrespective of the method. So they taught people to boil water before drinking, eating good food, exercise, and avoid stress. So actually, they recommended the healthy lifestyle. And this is exactly the same what we are doing today. But most of you prefer to take a shortcut and stay in the line for the pills or surgery. I'm a cardiologist and researcher. In my profession, the most important is prevention. When I turned 30, I started thinking about my health more seriously. Eating better, exercising more. Actually, I started being a professional cycler, cycler almost. This is my hobby. But I became concerned about rising cholesterol level and my hypertension and how the aging processes may influence my health in the future. And I'm not talking about the wrinkles on my face that obviously I can see in the mirror. But then I asked myself one very important question. Is there anything more that I can do about my health in the future? Do you know that the most valuable resource in the world is not longer oil, but data? And the same is in medicine. Actually, doctors have been collecting information about their patients since the, since the time of the ancient Greek, starting with Hippocrates. This is the guy who created this, you know, patient-doctor relationship. And what doctors actually are doing today is nothing else but collecting data about their patient. But are they using them efficiently? I doubt. Patients very often bring to my office their genetic test result for the analyzing. You know, it's a very powerful and outstanding tool that improves risk prediction, but also helps to create better preventive action and more complex investigation. But do you know, it's very seldom they bring some basic results for the analysis, like glucose level results, cholesterol level, or even blood pressure measurements. And why is that? Because such a data are relatively inexpensive or simply they are for free. But they prefer to pay much more money for genetic analysis because they value it more. We are entering the era of P4 medicine. What does it really mean? 
Today's medicine is mostly reactive. It waits till patient gets sick and treats the disease with varying level of success. But I strongly believe that wisely using current medical knowledge and combine it carefully with some basic biochemical biomarkers like, for example, glucose level, cholesterol level, uric acid, and many others, and add some information about our blood pressure, heart rate, and even newer biomarkers, such a combination may help us to build a personalized risk score. And this is what we can call a personalized medicine, even without doing a genetic analysis. But you know what is the most important thing? That everyone should participate actively in this process. So if we start collecting our health data as a part of our daily routine or weekly routine, imagine then within years we'll collect a massive amount of different data points that maybe in the future will help us to build such a personalized risk score. Let's use your imagination that you are doing annual checkup, let's say for 10 years, and every time you are repeating exactly the same parameters. You got it, yeah? So actually, what you are doing right now is, a, is the best example of the medical research. But what is the most important, the only subject included into the study is you. I would like to show you such an example of data set from one of my patients. He came to my office because of the hypertension, which is quite a common case. This is just a small piece of the example. But imagine that he brought to my office, when I asked him for the records, he showed me something amazing. Actually, he showed me 20,000 points of his blood pressure measured that he did within previous 10 years. So actually, he was doing it, I mean measuring his blood pressure, five times per day, every single day. But he did something more. He, he analyzed it uh, for me. So I could easily understand how his diet influenced the blood pressure, what happened when he decreased the salt intake, what happened when he started doing more exercises, when he lost some weight, and how specific medication influenced his blood pressure. I could even easily understand how the quality of his sleep influenced the blood pressure. Can you imagine to do the same? I do even without such a big effort. Imagine that nowadays we have in our hands more than 300,000 different medical applications that may help us to collect our health data, and they can do even more. They can analyze it even without doctor's help. I will show you such an example that we are using of the tool that we are using in cardiology. We call it cardiovascular score. It's a very simple tool. Let's imagine a 40 years old, old guy who is standing in front of you, never smoking. His blood pressure is 140, which is still without normal range, but a little bit too high for his age. And his cholesterol uh, level is 190. So his risk score for developing cardiovascular diseases within the next 10 years is 4%. It's not very high, don't you think? But let's imagine the same guy in 20 years, and he suddenly changed his mind and he started smoking. So he was smoking for 30 years. His blood pressure right, right now is 150, and he never used any medication for it. And his cholesterol level is 230. So right now his risk score is almost 20%. And imagine that we use only few information to gauge something like this, like this predictive score. But nowadays, we can go even farther. One of the latest research showed that using only 14 different metabolites that are produced in our body, we can learn whether we will die in the next five years with more than 80% of accuracy. 
It's impressive, don't you think? So, today we are able to collect information about our stress level, physical activity, cholesterol level or heart rate, blood pressure on a permanent basis. The objective behind collecting such a data is to improve many risk factors that in the future may influence our health. Do any of you have such a smartwatches? Not many. But for those who, are, who have such a smartwatch, I have a very good information. By 2021, it is estimated that 10% of us who are using actively such as smartwatches will get six months of healthy life extra. I believe that collecting medical data and using them properly will be the next big lifestyle change. And we all should be concerned with such a data and treat them as a personal research and part of our healthy lifestyle that may improve the most important outcome, our long and healthy life. So the next time we'll meet in my office, I will recommend you not only a healthy diet or physical activity, but I will also recommend you a medical application that helps you to collect your digital data. And hopefully we all enter this P4 medicine era healthy and without these diapers. Thank you. <laughs>